men versus women's sports. We've done a couple of these, but we'll, we'll do another one. Might as well. Today, we delve into stories where the tables are turned and women find themselves regretting their decisions in the heat of the fight. Till I say stop! In a classic case of size doesn't always matter, a woman decided to challenge the smallest man in the soldier lineup, thinking it would be a walk in the park. Well, she quickly realized she had underestimated the little powerhouse. Despite the size difference, the man unleashed a flurry of punches that left her questioning her life choices. <clears throat> well, men have more fast twitch muscle fibers, so can hit harder and denser bones. Yeah. Um, women should be trained to, like, more defensive strategies rather than straight attack. You know, like, in this situation, for instance, she could have, like, trained harder to dodge than strike. Well, with this, this is a um, TV show where they're doing, like, special forces training, but for TV. Oh. Um, but I get your point. Oh. However, the people that she'll be going up against are men who are trained just the same. Equal training, men and females are not equal. Yeah, that's why I kind of think, as it's not equal genetically, it shouldn't be equal training. Um, know, like, men should be taught how for they've been taught for years, and women should be taught more, like, just it's more to their advantage. I just feel like it would be a fair fight that way, you know? Like, sure, it's not equal tactic, but it's, it's fair. How? Well, uh, like, you say it's fair, but I don't get what you mean. I mean, like, if the woman was taught how to dodge, like, But a man could be and... taught how to dodge quickly. Yeah, but I mean, like... <laughs> Poop. <laughs> Looks like she learned the hard way, that in a fight, it's not about the inches, but the punches. And this pint-sized soldier had them in abundance. Never judge a soldier by their height, unless you want a crash course in humility. He wasn't even that short. Yeah, no, like, he was he was a similar height to her, but... No, he was the same height to the guys that were doing the training. The other guys were much taller than that guy. I think they were just really built guys. <laughs> Oof. In an unexpected matchup, a grown Muay Thai woman found herself facing off against a little boy, assuming victory was a given. However, the fight took a surprising turn, as the resilient little guy showcased some serious skills, leaving the woman struggling to keep up. Can you hear it? I can't. It's... It keeps muffling. Yes, yeah, this. But um, she's a fully grown woman. Yeah. And he's, what, 15? I didn't know the age, but it doesn't look it. Up. He definitely has an older sister he does not like. Yeah. Or he just goes to the gym and trains a lot. Oh, I meant like the frustration he's attacking the woman. Yeah. Or but, maybe he just doesn't like her because she's a grown ass woman and. Who tried to pick on him? Yeah. I feel like there was respect there, but then it was also like. <laughs> yeah, because if he's like a young child hugging a, a fully grown, attractive woman, mm. everyone, yeah. all the males are there, are like. <laughs> it just goes to show that size doesn't always determine the outcome in the world of Muay Thai. Maybe the little boy was teaching her that age is just a number, but in this case, it was the number of kicks and punches he landed. Talk about a pint-sized powerhouse stealing the spotlight. <laughs> In this hilarious video, 
a spirited soccer mom decided to step into the ring against a professional boxer, thinking she could handle the heat. However, it quickly became evident that she wasn't quite prepared for the intensity of the match. The boxer showcased his skills, leaving the soccer mom with a bewildered expression as she tried to dodge punches. Why did she think it was a good idea? I don't know, but she was taking the hits quite well. No, she wasn't. I mean, to the stomach, she didn't like tumble back or anything. That's because she's got a lot of padding. <laughs> hiding the smirk, hiding. <laughs> <laughs> covering her face properly. He's also 100% pulling his punches. Yeah, I can see. There's no, There's no like, power behind it, yeah. yeah. He's not doing much, like, like you see it there. Yeah. Only, um... Like his size, he would one hit. <laughs> it's just little... It turns out taking on a pro in the ring is a bit different from the soccer field. Maybe she thought it was a friendly match with a different set of rules. <laughs> A woman bravely donned a dress and heels to challenge a male boxer in the ring. However, her bold move quickly backfired as she took an unexpected punch to the face, prompting a hasty retreat that resembled more of a runway strut than a- Okay, she, she wasn't- she was trying to step yeah. on his foot there, and she realised, oh, poop, I can't. And then she realised she was going to get hit in the face. So she runs <laughs> off thinking it's alright, but yeah. she's still in the match. Yeah. Boxing maneuver. It turns out high heels and jabs don't mix well. I think he did get her. He did not like her. Remember, folks. Oh. I think if she took off the heels and maybe were a little bit serious about it, the outfit would have been fine, but she, she would have been tripping on it. I think, well, the way she was trying to stamp on his foot with the heel, mm. like, he did not like that. No. It's like, it's, he was plusy hurt. Well, yeah, he's barefoot. Mm. He went for it. Fashion forward moves might work on the catwalk, but in the ring, it's a whole different ball game. Quite a nice outfit, though. I was just letting my head going for a funeral. Outfit for a funeral. <laughs> Is a ref laughing? Yeah. <laughs> He's supposed to be stopping it. But like she clearly like just been Hammered. volatile or yeah. like, whatever. But then it's like she can't like it's deserved. She knew what was gonna happen if she didn't get out quick enough. <laughs> yeah, but she's basically lost. And he's just laughing. You get what you signed up for. <laughs> <laughs> In a twist of irony, a feminist professional MMA fighter stepped into the octagon, ready to break gender norms, but found herself on the receiving end of a dominating performance by a man. Looks <laughs> like equality took a detour in the cage that day. Maybe she was trying to show that women can handle anything. But turns out, this man was handling the situation quite literally. Guess the only thing she broke that day was the misconception that a feminist fighter can't tap out. Yeah, they're, they're similar size, and she thought, oh, he's similar size, I'm a professional, he's a professional, it should be an equal fight. Not even close. Like, people don't understand that. Are those fights where you have to, like, be knocked out to win? Or, or tap, yeah. Uh, yeah. Um, but a lot of people don't realise even fully trained professional female fighters can lose quite easily to untrained males. It's almost a bit big. Yeah, it's the same as a fully trained professional male fighter will lose to a monkey. Or a gorilla. Oh my god, yeah, gorillas. Oh. 
I watched Gina fight several times. Gina is tough as they come. She's got to try and do more than just come in here, though. If she can push on the hips and maybe try to sweep, she's just come up on top. She cannot stay underneath the floor. Uh, again, it's hurtling now. And that'll be the end of that fight. And it didn't go come. In a surprising twist, a young boy fighter faced off against a girl with the advantage of both height and age. Despite the odds, he skillfully maneuvered, knocking her down when she charged at him. Barbie, let's go party. It seems height and age couldn't quite match up to his moves. Maybe he was just trying to teach her that in the world of sparing, it's not about the size of the opponent, but the size of the punch. Someone get that boy. The way he waited was so brilliant as well. He just like let her do all of her what, yeah, waste energy. attacks, yeah. yeah. Miss them all, and then just strikes. A lollipop. In a plot twist nobody saw coming, a big fella accidentally knocks out a girl in a wrestling match with a punch that seemed softer than a pillow fight. <laughs> Guess he was trying to demonstrate the gentle art of knockout hugs. Who knew a big fella could pack a punch that feels like a whisper but knocks you out like a Shakespeare in tragedy? When wrestling with giants, make sure the lullaby. Like, look, look, he just no. like. It's like he used his entire arm. Bam! Or even hit with a fist, then the elbow. No, I don't think so. No, no, it I think she his like elbow collapsed. Touched the head. She collapsed onto his arm. Yeah. Well, that's what he was saying, Court. Yeah. <laughs> Poor dude. doesn't turn into a lights out melody. Wrestling matches where the punches are light, but the naps are heavy. <laughs> Wait, that sounds like a slap. It's so bad. Yeah. <laughs> oh. That guy's got the slap. <laughs> he can teach his kids. <laughs> He'll wake up tomorrow with like a massive handprint. Just like. <laughs> In a karate showdown, a master decided to teach a valuable lesson to a brave but perhaps overconfident girl. As she charged in for a punch, the karate master countered with a takedown so swift it left spectators questioning if they had just witnessed some martial arts magic. It turns out, charging like a bull isn't always the winning strategy in the dojo. That girl got a lesson in the art of surprise, a black belt takedown in the school of unexpected humility. Talk about a punchline that's all about balance and, well, not getting punched. See, because of the size difference, that was probably way too easy for him as well. Like, there was no struggle. Yeah. You know, when women are in a men fight, <clears throat> like, men are like, it looks like they're using all their muscles, but when women fight, it's like, you don't see them use their muscles, like all of them. I mean, like I mean, I can tell when a man's like, okay, I could guess that they're using their legs, like strong legs, to like keep them steady when they're getting hit. Right, That's what but for a to woman, do. it's they they probably don't think about that, and then they stumble back. Let alone their muscles being probably weaker in that area. Well, it sounds like you're giving men too much credit, like. As no, I just, animals. I am just explaining what I see. <laughs> like, as animals, we're meant to balance ourselves. Yeah. That's what all of your muscles do, from your legs, your abs, your back, your arms. It's all to balance. But I feel like... Just men have more muscles. What does it feel like? Hmm? Um... But good on women for trying to fight, though, even though they will always lose. I don't think there is one fight I have seen or heard of that a man has lost. Unless they are what, literally mean, a 12 year old boy. To a woman? Yeah. Probably have. It's just rare. Like, when people say men and women, it's on average. Like, you put the average man against the average woman, the man's going to win. Yeah. When you put professional female fighters with a bit of luck as well. Yes, they're going to win. On the street, that's literally what Krav Maga teaches you. Hmm. It's like, do anything to survive. If someone's coming at you on the street, you, you might as well do anything. I just cover my body in like pointy shards. Well, like a hedgehog. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you touch me, you die. <laughs> but I think men should protect women anyway. They shouldn't. 
Women shouldn't have the need to defend themselves from a man. But isn't it, like, a bit much to ask for? What do you mean? For a man to protect a woman. It's not like no. she's done anything for that right. Being a woman. Yeah, but what's... It's a man's duty to protect a woman. Mm, I and feel like man... back in the day and age where there was barely any humans around, yeah, fair enough. No, I mean, no, just there was an actual like use for that thing sentence saying, "I'll protect you to my but day ends." There's still a lot of men out there who have like disgusting minds, obviously. Yeah. True. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> In this video, a professional woman boxer bravely steps into the ring to take on a man in a boxing match. However, the outcome wasn't what she had envisioned, as she found herself on the receiving end of a knockout blow. The referee, witnessing the unfolding mismatch, had no yeah, choice but to step in Maybe and stop the like, bout. Like that, um, oh, a lot of women like elastic yeah. band their breasts. But if they didn't say that was a woman, I wouldn't have known. <clears throat> Is it bad that I kind of knew it was the one in the red pants? Because, like, women have to cover their breasts. Mm. So. Doing a bit well, though. Oh, he got that part of her. She hey. definitely had good speed, but yeah, yeah. she didn't have the power behind it. But yeah. It seems even the fiercest fighters can encounter challenges, reminding us all that the boxing ring doesn't discriminate based on gender. Maybe next time, she'll think twice before stepping into the ring with a guy who packs a- on my head, <laughs> It's like, come on, <laughs> ...punch as powerful as his reputation. If you enjoyed the relentless thrill of our content... That was quite good. What? It's a lot of underwear. Well, if you want to check out the channel, yeah, it's the channel name for people. But yeah, what do you think? Same as always, you know. Just Nature. a lot of women falling to the ground. <laughs> it would be nice to see a video of like, like, a guy being fairly beaten. Oh, that's quite right. Why I, I mean. Uh, Oh, fuck's sake. <laughs> <laughs>